Hollow Knight fans have been patiently and sometimes not so patiently waiting years for Silk Song, and this may finally be the year it happens. The sequel to the acclaimed action Metro Divania seems even more ambitious than the first, and information on a potential sequel has been drip fed to fans. If it does come this year, Team Cherry will be making good on years of anticipation and expectations. <laughs> In 2023, we received a stellar remake of Super Mario RPG, the 16-bit classic from Squaresoft. This year, we're primed to receive another remake of a Mario-themed RPG, the fan-favorite Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. While Paper Mario established the look of this branch of Mario games, Thousand Year Door is still beloved thanks to its refinement of the first game's mechanics and its array of lovable characters. That makes this remake one to watch, especially after the reverent care we saw for Super Mario RPG. Metroid Prime 4 has been in development for many years at this point, and development even restarted in 2019 when Retro Studios took over. There's still no word on a release window, and no one really knows how far along in development it actually is. That said, with Retro Studios at the helm and the sheer brilliance of the trilogy before it, we imagine Metroid Prime 4 will be worth the wait, however long that winds up being. In the meantime, you can check out, or replay, Metroid Dread, which brought side-scrolling Metroid back in style last year. Little Nightmares has engendered a cult following between its two creepy platforming horror adventures, but this next entry represents a big shift. While the first two games were developed by Swedish developer Tarsier Studios, Little Nightmares 3 has changed hands to supermassive games, the studio behind games like the Dark Pictures Anthology and The Quarry. That certainly comes with certain horror bona fides, and everything we've seen indicates that Supermassive is approaching this sequel with care for the franchise, which makes sense as it assisted with ports of Little Nightmares 2. We'll have to see how its first solo Little Nightmares effort turns out when it releases this year. Yoshitaka Murayama, creator of the classic JRPG series Suikoden, has come back to direct this spiritual successor after a successful Kickstarter campaign in 2020. And like Suikoden, Ayuden Chronicles looks to be defined by a massive roster of playable characters, political intrigue, and a rich world to explore. The evil Galdian Empire is searching for a relic that will make it nearly unstoppable when one of its officers befriends a young village boy and their fates turn in unexpected ways. If you'd like to get a taste of the world and you just can't wait for April, Ayuden Chronicle Rising is a fast-paced action RPG that helps set the stage for 100 heroes. Biomutant is an open-world, post-apocalyptic kung fu epic RPG. This game offers the opportunity to combine melee, shooting, and mutant abilities with its unique combat system. Change your appearance and playstyle by recoding your genetic makeup. For example, play around with mutations like mantis legs or spiny tails. Explore a vibrant open world on foot, via shuttle, jet ski, weather balloon, or region-specific vehicle. Mix parts to create your own unique cutting, crushing, and piercing melee weapons, pistols, rifles, and more. Your actions and choices will determine the ending of your survival story as a storyteller narrates each step of your journey. Fantasy Life was a modest success on the three deciseconds, and Level 5 is reviving the series with a new entry. 
You'll once again choose a profession and learn new skills as you build both a city and your friendships with townsfolk. But this time, you'll also be traveling between the past and present to unlock the mysteries of a cursed island. It looks cute as all heck, and may be a great choice for curling up with a cup of tea and a warm blanket. Star Wars Hunters is a team-based action game that may primarily be thought of as an iOS and Android game, but it's also coming to Nintendo Switch. Hunters features four V4 PvP combat and maps based on iconic locales from the Star Wars universe. There will be a ton of playable characters, including Jedi, Stormtroopers, Mandalorians, and more. Let's go! Time for some fireworks! Metal Slug has long been one of the best run-and-gun action game franchises out there, but for a change of pace, the series is swapping its Blitzkrieg design for a more measured tactical RPG format. A combination of gorgeous pixel art and fluid animation, Metal Slug Tactics features series powerhouses Marco, Airy, FIO, and Tarma, and their over-the-top arsenal in an isometric tactics format that looks fun, clever, and explosive ahead of its eventual release. An action-packed platformer that's focused on both exploration and combat, you'll play as a young runist named Ilya of Moonstone, who is on a journey to find her missing twin sister and a way home. There's plenty of danger along the path, but Ilya quickly picks up some sharp sword skills and powerful runic magic that'll help her survive in a hostile land. You'll have to discover the answer to that question yourself, as Locomotive puts you in the gumshoes of a rookie detective, a lawyer, and an undercover spy as they race to prove their innocence before the real killer strikes again. While the setup is grim, the rest of the game plays out like a slapstick whodunit as you interact with fellow passengers. Locomotive has a delightful pixel art aesthetic, a moody soundtrack by Space Haven's Paul Zimmerman, and plenty of puzzles. Yacht Club Games has made several follow-ups to its breakout hit, Shovel Knight, but Mina the Hollower marks a totally new franchise for the indie studio. The game is said to be modeled after Game Boy classics like Link's Awakening, and the studio opened up its development process early with regular streams and blog posts showcasing concept art and design concepts. It's coming thanks to its successful Kickstarter campaign, but no release date has been set. We've seen blends of 2D and 3D environments before, but the Plucky Squire looks to be an especially charming version of it. As a storybook character named Jot, you roam around your pages in an animated overhead style, but then learn you can pop out of the book to explore your real-life surroundings. The artwork for both styles looks just cute as all heck, and the blend of styles could create some engaging, puzzling scenarios. Mm -hmm. 